Hey guys, Connor here. And, yep, I'm wearing my, uh, boom stuff again, because the game I'm gonna review is, uh, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Alright, so, from the front cover, it actually looks really promising. Unlike Rise of Lyric. I'm looking at you, Rise of Lyric. You know what you did. You killed the franchise. <sighs> Yeah, that's what you get. All right, so it comes with the game, and it also comes with the uh, a DVD featuring three episodes from the TV from the Sonic Boom TV show. And this might be the actual first time that I actually talk about the TV show. Uh, it's just your typical Saturday morning cartoon. By the way, it's on Cartoon Network at 7 p.m. on Saturdays. So be sure to set your DVR, okay? But I'm not saying you should watch it. That is, if you want to watch it. Well, let's check this out first. Okay. Uh, need some milk. Now I got it. I got it. See, I got it. Okay. Let's put it in here. Alright, here we go. Wow. A few seconds in and it closed and it crashed. Something I completely forgot. My computer can't read DVDs. Let's try my zoom box. Hmm, let's see, where's the uh, power? Oh. Uh, wait. You can't quite see it, but it works. By the way, all the episodes of Sonic Boom are on net on Hulu. Now, let's cover the game. So, let's get my 3DS and try it out. Here it is. So, basically, Dr. Eggman's using these rocks called Ragnium to take over the world, and searching for the Ragnium requires there's tunneling, which, all, which actually leads to some weather currents. And so Sonic and the gang have to investigate. Yeah, that's basically the story. Then instantly they get uh, fire and ice powers. Alright, let's play this game. By the way, I'm, I'm using one hand to control this because I'm... Ha because I'm holding... So basically, yeah. I think the mechanics for Sonic, Boom, Fire, and Ice are really good. Plus, also, every character you play as can use the homing attack. Plus, also, there are two types of powers. There is Fire Power and Ice Power. These, see that? That means you have to use the ice power. And when you see a block of ice that has a fire logo on it, that means you use the fire power.
Plus also this game was made by Sanzaru Games, the same people that made Shattered Crystal. Which I haven't talked about yet, but I will get to someday. See? All episodes on Hulu. Plus also there are times where you race against robots in this game. Like I just did with Eggman. Plus also Sonic can do like a dash attack. Amy can use her hammer to destroy enemies and make new pathways. Tails can fly like he always does. Knuckles can punch stuff uh, and dig underground. And Styx the Badger, this character right here, can use boomerangs. So, that's my view of Sonic F Boom, Fire, and Ice. What do I think of this game? I think it's really good. I, I recommend you guys should buy it.